Uh, so I would like to introduce Mansoor Al Kabi. Uh, I this is this is going to be a difficult interview in that um, <laughs> Mansoor Mansoor is basically my brother, and so I don't know. It's weird to interview your brother, and so uh, we we we've we've even traveled together. So. Uh, we've we've been to Seattle together. We've been to Vancouver, Canada together. We've been to London together. Because so yeah. so I do want to start out. I, I like to have people start out with uh, t- you. You are a supply chain major at UAU. Um, what classes did you have with me? I think you had more than most. I'm pretty sure you had management, supply chain, management, supply chain. I don't know if you had procurement, but I know you're in the rare group of people that got to have strategic with me. Yeah, I had strategic with you. Uh, management, I remember, and supply chain. Uh, yeah, three. I think three subjects, right? I had to think. I, th- those three. I, those three. I remember. Someone, sir, tell us about. Tell us about. Uh, I want to start with your internship at Boeing, and and uh, I had I had a note to Monsieur that I've got an Airbus behind me, um, mm. but but it, it it was it's on loan. It's not mine. So um, okay. Yeah. So if it's but, not Boeing, I'm not going. You know. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So uh, I got to do it. Actually, actually, also behind me here is a picture of us from. <laughs> picture. From so yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Anyway. As good as the palace. Yep. So tell me about tell, start for our listeners. Start with your internship and go. Yeah. So I graduated from uh, UAE University uh, with major of supply chain management. Uh, before I graduated, I had about to do my to do my internship in uh, Seattle, United States. With the Boeing company, uh, the internship was actually about six months. It's two months extra than the normal internship in the UAE. So uh, I had uh, that time. I remember it's very, uh, very clear that I had to do all my midterms, all uh, my final uh, terms, and uh, all my final project uh, in one week to be able before, like a month before ending the semester, to be able to travel to US and do my internship. So it was like a hard time for me that time to do it, but it's it's it was a challenge uh, to be one of the three people who go to United States and do the internship with the Boeing. Uh, so I start my internship there with uh, with them uh, on field of uh, international business uh, uh, support and uh, managing the. Uh, it was about like managing the request and uh, the needs for of all the international offices uh, for the Boeing. Uh, With the headquarters, of, like what they need on on field, what they need from contractors, what they need the, uh, regarding uh, their agreements and their contracts with the uh, with others uh, uh, in the in the United States or from other countries and from the original country of the office. Uh, I completed my six month uh, uh, as internship, and uh, Boeing asked me to extend my internship. And I remember that time I was like calling Steve. Steve, should I extend my internship or should I go back to country? <laughs> and, and Steve, and I would like <laughs> absolutely say absolutely extend your internship. Were you the first person that they asked to extend the internship? Uh, yeah, from the three of us, yeah. But no, I mean, like I think I don't know of anybody even before you. I knew some of the students who did it before you. I don't know anybody who's been asked to extend the intern. You know, for, from the team of us, the three of us, they they asked me first. I was like. Uh, It was it was like uh, unbelievable situation. Like where my manager came to me, like I was sitting on the chair, and she came close to the chair, uh, underneath, and Masoud, we're looking for you to extend your six months with us. Are you uh, happy to do this? I was like, what? <laughs> um, I was preparing my bags to leave, to leave like within the uh, like within the next month. I was like, what? <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen after that. <laughs> But uh, I have to do. I have to. To think about it, uh, I have to see my family what they think about it at that time. So uh, I was part of my family, Steve. So I came to you like, what do you think, Steve? <laughs> Steve, like, go for it, go for it, Mansoor. Extend. <laughs> you remember that, Steve? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I remember it very well. And uh, and you were nice enough. You came home for a good part of Ramadan, so you're able to get some good family time back here yeah. before you head back. And so you know. That's... Yeah, it, it was my agreement with my manager, you know, because I finished all my off, uh, all my uh, all my leaves uh, on traveling in the US uh, around like uh, states. So I told her like, if you want me to extend, I have to go to my my home country like one time. <laughs> So she agreed on this. 
So if you give me a task on the in Dubai, I have to work in the Dubai office for two weeks and uh, I will be able to visit my family at that time. So yeah, it was a great uh, uh, vacation and extent. So I complete for one year in the United States. I get uh, to work in different kinds of fields. I We had an amazing uh, 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 like uh, internship with the point of uh, knowing the steps of building the planes, all the uh, techniques that they use in their factories. Uh, we have uh, side factories for uh, where we go with uh, one of the mentors there to tell us all the steps that been uh, working on building the blends and uh, uh, from the marketing side well, what uh, comes uh, their customers uh, they need to, to where they where they can order their blends and they custom their window their chairs their leveling of the or custom the chairs and the blend it was an amazing uh, tours uh, at Boeing United States when I went back on uh, 2014 uh, uh, I joined uh, the General Secretary Executive Council uh, as a trainee. Also, uh, I worked like uh, uh, I worked like with the General Secretary Executive Council for like uh, from 2014 till the time being. Uh, so uh, uh, this is briefly about me, like where, where I be and what I worked. Why didn't you choose to stay with Boeing? Yeah, I don't want to go to about that. They offered me to a uh, contact to, to work with Boeing. Uh, at that time, uh, it was uh, on uh, on Qatar site. Uh, I have to work on uh, uh, on Qatar offices and uh, reporting to the uh, Dubai office uh, uh, at that time. But uh, it wasn't considered to me to be one of uh, my dream job uh, to be there. Uh, like uh, regarding the salaries and uh, uh, regarding also like who, where I'll be, uh, where I'll be like located, and what's what's the type of the job. Okay. Um, uh, in your job now, are you in, in what you're doing now? Is anything from your supply chain training and background being able to be utilized in what you're doing now? Uh, the amazing, the amazing things about supply chain. It's not only uh, uh, like linked with factories or like with the assembly line or with the protection or procurement. It's also in the strategic way, like where you link all the projects and all the uh, needful uh, tasks and uh, uh, KPIs with uh, with uh, this uh, this kind of uh, uh, of big uh, plan or like a vision of the of the company or of the entity. So in my job is, is more like a strategy thinking of uh, on supply chain, like on how uh, we uh, we built a plan of uh, uh, the uh, different projects and uh, linked projects to achieve uh, the main goal or the main strategy of, of raising a KBI of, uh, of an entity. So, uh, so supply chain is, is something uh, we live with. We uh, we have it every day in our life. Even you're away from home to work or from work to home. You you check your locations. You check what's the shortest way or like even what's your uh, plan for today to do. Yeah, I, I, you know, you the, again. As I think I said in one of the inter other interviews, I'm so old that the word supply chain didn't exist when I was a college student. It was it was operations management. They, nobody used the term supply chain. Uh, I don't even remember when I first heard the term supply chain. To be honest, it, it just it because in the old days people just thought of uh, operations people as making the trains run on time, but not but they didn't really care about them. The whole idea of being strategic is when it became supply chain and made all the links in. So. Um, uh, was I gonna? Was I gonna say? Oh, I, I want I want you to have a chance to plug your restaurant. If you're living here in Alain uh, and you're looking for a really absolutely delicious meal, there is a place called a Prey. You you as a when you were younger, your family had a cafe downtown, yes. and because you had a cafe downtown, 
you learn from that experience of what worked and what didn't work. And I just thought it was amazing when you open to pray that that is, you learned from there what didn't work and what worked well. And so when you chose a location, when you chose everything you've chosen, had I can see it by, by I can see what you learned by what you have in a pray. So, so, so ser- sincerely, I, I wouldn't say that because he's my brother, like legitimately it's fantastic food. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> I appreciate it. Actually, I received like two days ago, I received also the same comment about our breakfast. Uh, a, computer, uh, a computer like open uh, near the, uh, our area and he started delivering the food uh, and uh, some of the our customer, our customer sent me the picture and said, Uh, I, I, I hope that we have uh, a great food uh, delivered soon. Uh, we missed the taste of it and uh, we really like it more than others around around you guys. I was like, okay, <laughs> we will be delivering soon, inshallah. <laughs> so you do know that, that the, the guy who's in charge of Talibat for all of all aim is a UAU graduate. And trust me, um, he wants to talk to you. He's, he begs me to talk to you, get to connect you. So just throwing that out there. Throwing that out there. Letting you know. So, anyhow, um, what would what advice? So earlier today, um, earlier today, I was talking with a, uh, a mechanical engineering student. He's only 18 years old, um, and he's just absolutely certain that mechanical engineering is the right major, whatever for the future, and blah blah blah. He thinks it is, um, and I was like, I I think you should consider supply chain. Just saying, nothing wrong with mechanical engineering, but I think you should consider supply chain. What would you say to the person who's trying to decide majors if employability is important? What What would you say to somebody who's considering supply chain as a major? Uh, first of all, you like you know you need to know like what what you're studying, uh, where where this subject came from. Uh, if, if I'm not wrong, Steve, uh, you told us like the supply chain terms and uh, usage was first on the World War I where they tried to supply the ammo and uh, uh, the needs for, for all the location they have. So they started the strategy of how how they can minimize the number of trucks going on to the time needs to deliver all those locations. Yeah, the, the thing that the, the discussion I had about war was that the that necessity is the mother of invention. And so uh, they developed the, in, you know, and as somebody who's read more on World War II than any person ever should, um, America started winning that war, and, and sorry to anybody who's British or French, any of that, I don't care. Um, America started winning that war when they chose to not go after their bases, German bases, But actually, start going for their train lines and their in their uh, their fuel depots. And so, when when the U.S. started this supply chain, that's when we actually started really beating the Nazis. Mm, because you're hitting you're hitting the the uh, the location of the of their logistic uh, uh, yeah. material and uh, uh, yeah. distributing. Having a soldier, having a soldier, uh, having a soldier uh, somewhere. If that soldier can't get food and Guys. new get, and get gasoline and new ammo, then that soldier doesn't have a whole yeah. lot of. Yeah. So you're cut, you cut, you're cutting his uh, uh, his supply chain. So he, he will be like uh, uh, die with women likes me. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So uh, so uh, loving these things wow. like uh, knowing that. Uh, needs for it and uh, like people around you like when they know that you're studying you're a, you're a supply chain major graduate that make me feel different like like everyone when I told them like what's my graduate is supply chain you, you study supply chain this is very needful this is the the need uh, the need of the 2021 uh, uh, the most needed uh, major in the world I was like uh, yeah I was the first batch of uh, graduating from the UAU I was like, "Oh, okay, great." So uh, this is this is uh, guaranteeing a uh, need to, to to say for anyone like studying uh, or like looking for uh, a major to study is uh, to look for something that's needed in the future. That's uh, not you thinking like they will need it, but people in fields asking for it. And where am I now in fields and people asking for supply chain? So I, I guarantee that and told you that 
you should take supply chain. Great. So, um, fantastic answer. Thank you. And, uh, you know, somewhere, I, I, I have to end with a compliment here. So, when we were in Vancouver, Mansoor was, it, we were there with over 2,000 other college students from around the world, because it was the World Model United Nations. And Mansoor was the only one wearing the Kandora, and, he, and I, think he wore, I think he wore the full Gaul. I think he had everything. Yeah. So, he instantly became the most popular person at the whole conference. Everyone wanted a picture with Sheikh Mansour. And so, um, I, you know, I, I, I was like, this is going to his head. He's, he now thinks I'm this awesome. It's just, oh, it was, <laughs> uh, is there any other, any last things you want to, you want to add in here, Mansour? Uh, nothing much, Steve, but uh, uh, I'm, not, I'm not forcing people to look for supply chain, but I'm forcing people to think wisely on what they choose. Uh, like 87% uh, of people who graduating, they're working on major that they, they, they're not in the same field they're graduating from. But getting a, uh, getting a major that will help you to think wisely, uh, uh, thinking out of the box, getting you, uh, get you, get you like, uh, uh, get, get you to know more about, uh, uh, about the way of uh, thinking or linking uh, things or like, uh, uh, and you, some, and something new fields will be used in multiple uh, field or work area works. It's it's gonna support you on on a big chance of uh, of uh, new work basement. Awesome! Uh, I want to thank Mansur Al Kabi, my brother, my brother who uh, since since he it used to be my rule was. Uh, if I make more money than you, I have to yeah. I have to buy. But when you make more money than me, then you have to buy. And since then, I see very little of Mansoor. <laughs> I was I was doing this story to my friend, uh, my partner Salah last time. I said every time Steve went to my shop and he's he's taking uh, pictures of the foods, I have to be there because I I promised we have like a deal. Like if I get paid more than his salary, I have to pay his his meal. But you never go out with me. You always go to my shop. <laughs> How can I get them from there? <laughs> uh, and and uh, yeah, you're, you're, the employees there already know that we're connected. That so so I, I, at this point, at this point, you can sit at the table with me, and they'd be like, "Yeah, we already knew that." So there, I, I originally wanted people not to know, but that's that's a whole side thing. Um, anyhow, Mansur, it's been absolutely wonderful to talk with you. Um, oh, thank so, you. Steve. Uh,